वापस मुगद मेले Good morning, dear students. Welcome to the class on WBC disorders. Today we'll discuss first leukemia and followed by lymphoma. Leukemia is a heterogeneous group of diseases characterized by infiltration of blood, bone marrow, and other tissues. by neoplastic cells of hematopoietic system so everywhere there is either immature cells or matured cells but there increase in the number seen in the blood and bone marrow acute leukemia they are defined as a malignant clonal proliferation of lymphocyte series derived from either b lymphocyte or t lymphocyte or myeloid precursors cells derived from either rbcs gyrocytes platelets of unknown etiology etiology leading to replacement of normal hematopoiesis by blast cells so normal cells in the bone marrow are replaced by immature cells which are called as blast cells and their population is 20% or more of the population of the marrow cells or in the lymph nodes spleen liver or other organs of the body classification of leukemia acute myeloid leukemia acute lymphoblastic leukemia chronic myeloid leukemia and chronic lymphocytic leukemia this we have two types myeloid acute and chronic lymphoid acute and chronic in adults Normal is acute myeloid leukemia 
and CML. In pediatric age, it is ALL which is common, and CLL is very rare. We will discuss first acute myeloid leukemia. It is commonly seen in the men at around the age of 50 to 65 years of age. Etiology commonly is hereditary, like Down syndrome, radiation, particularly survivors of atomic bomb explosion in Japan, chemicals like benzene, solvent used in plastic, rubber, and pharmaceutical industries, and drugs like chloramphenicol and phenylbutazone. These are the common etiological factors. There are around eight different classifications of acute myeloid leukemia. Start with M0, meaning differentiated leukemia. M1 is mainly for pathological classification, myeloblastic leukemia without maturation. M2, myeloblastic leukemia with maturation. M3, hypergranular promyelocytic leukemia. M4, myelomonocytic leukemia. This is very, M4 and M5 are very important because they are the one which gives rise to the gum bleeding and bleeding from the other areas. M5, monocytic leukemia. M6, erythroleukemia. And M7, megakaryoblastic leukemia. These are the eight different classifications given for a pathological purpose. A lot of this M4 and M5, they are very important and commonly seen in the presentations. The clinical presentations, symptoms. As the bone marrow is replaced by immature cells, the patient will have decrease in the hemoglobin. So that gives us symptoms like fatigue, weakness, dyspnea, anorexia, and weight loss. They are all symptoms of anemia. Already we have discussed in the last class. And because of decrease in the WBC count, the patient have, will have tendency to get fever, seen, which is seen in around 10% of patients. And because of decrease in the platelet counts, patient will have bleeding from different orifices. 